Now, from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather tonight. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks, here we go now, heading right on into our Wednesday evening. And again, hopefully you had a great Wednesday afternoon. Uh, we did see a little bit of sun as we went through the day, but still kind of generally cloudy and again, kind of on the cooler side as well. Uh, we're going to talk about that coming up. We're also going to talk about your Wednesday evening. But more importantly, our next opportunity of rain is showing up again for tomorrow, Thursday, late tomorrow, Thursday. And then we've got another more likely opportunity of rain showing up early next week as well. Uh, could we maybe even see a few snowflakes in some of those raindrops? Uh, we're going to try and answer that question momentarily as well. Uh, but again, first of all, let's go and talk about our Wednesday evening. And again, after a pretty chilly afternoon, uh, you can see temperatures quickly easing from the 50s into the 40s. The big winter coat will feel good. And again, you can see no added wind chill. The winds do remain light as we go through the evening. So this was that kind of chilly afternoon I was talking about, even though a lot of us for actual daytime highs here didn't make it up into the mid 50s. It was a struggle. It was kind of a slow process. And again, a few locations, even in our western counties, like down in Hamilton, um, didn't even make it into the 50s. Only 48 again for a daytime high down there. Locally here in the Metroplex, again, officially 56 at DFW. Uh, Arlington, one of the kind of milder spots, if you will, along with Mesquite, even McKinney, again, 57 for a daytime high earlier today. Okay, so radar now quiet in North Texas, radar quiet across the Southern Plains. Uh, we're looking at our storm system from yesterday. Of course, at this time, it was raining yesterday. And that storm system, look at the tracks it's made throughout the afternoon. It's continued to push off to the east, now moving through the Florida Peninsula. A little bit of ongoing thunder even associated with that storm system. Again, obviously, it's pulling away. No longer our concern. But as we begin to take a look out to the west, here comes our next storm system. And again, you can see the area of counterclockwise spin currently out across parts of California. Uh, this has to do with an energized El Nino pattern, kind of a conveyor belt, if you will, of storm systems one behind another. And again, like I mentioned, for tomorrow, Thursday, even though the storm is still quite a ways away, it will be arriving. And again, Thursday night, more than likely opportunity of rain. Uh, storm system by early Friday morning, look at this quickly on out. And then as we get into the weekend, even though we have a little storm system, you can see that small dip moving through, maybe some clouds this weekend, but I don't really see any real rain chances. We'll track that carefully. And then we've got a powerhouse storm system that does arrive this upcoming Monday. And again, you can even see the donut hole associated with that storm. Monday, there's going to be an opportunity, number one of rain. There may be some thunderstorm activity. There could even be some stronger storms. In the region, there could even be some severe weather. And then on the back side of that storm across parts of Oklahoma, there may be some snow. And some of that snow may get even close to the Red River Valley. So we'll track that carefully. That would be Monday night and early Tuesday morning. So those details, again, we'll kind of have to iron out, again, as we get a little bit closer in time. But over the next seven days, again, just kind of everything combined here, rainfall projections around the area. And again, this looks pretty healthy, right? one, two, maybe even another three inches of rain on the way. So at least timing out tonight and tomorrow. Again, tonight we're quiet, nothing going on. Even out the door tomorrow morning, nothing going on. The evening commute, tomorrow evening, Thursday evening in the Metroplex, I think we're generally still dry. You see the scattered showers beginning to develop tomorrow evening, Thursday evening in our western counties. And then as we go through late tomorrow evening, Thursday night, there's the opportunity of rain. But notice, by sunrise Friday morning, up across our far northeastern counties, Fannin and Lamar County, could there maybe be a couple snowflakes mixed in with the rain? This is the latest modeling here. And again, there would be no accumulation. Uh, but again, a couple snowflakes mixed in with the rain. Simply put, not impossible. That's not completely locked in. But again, that would be very late Thursday night and a very early Friday morning. So again, just something we'll be tracking, obviously, carefully. But again, as we go through tonight, Generally 30s, we're dry, a colder start out the door tomorrow, uh, generally 50s for our Thursday. Again, we're mostly dry through the day. Here comes that at least increasing opportunity of showers. And then as we get into Thursday night, likely opportunity of chilly showers around the area. It clears out quickly Friday morning. Then on Friday, we rebound back into the mid to upper 50s, a pretty decent looking, again, late afternoon. So going forward in time, likely opportunity of rain again Thursday night trailing off early Friday. Here comes that next likely opportunity of rain Monday. We'll be watching that powerhouse storm system. And again, temperatures pretty much steady as she goes through the 50s for daytime highs, no real big ups or downs.